Good morning, Coronacation, and welcome to day 44. Who would have thought we would have reached 44 days? Man, that's awesome. We're coming to the end of the month which means that we're about to get a new memory verse. And before we go into this new memory verse, I wanna make sure that we have secured this month's memory verse in our brains and in our hearts. And so Andrew, will you do me a favor and make sure everybody learns this month's memory verse. And while you're doing that, I will get a game ready. And since you were such an expert at our last game, you know, the, the, not the, um, the last game you played, that was the toilet trivia game and you like annihilated everybody. It's the first game you ever actually beat some of the kids in. So I'm going to make a game about a very hot commodity, um, something that you are an expert in apparently, um, bathroom things. So toilet paper, we're going to do a toilet paper trivia game for you. We'll see if you can, uh, beat the kids again, maybe you are an expert in uh, trivia about bathrooms. I don't know, or maybe it was just a fluke. Either way, you need to go into your bathroom. Um, make sure you check that cabinet right there. Bye, Andrew. Corey, what are you doing in the bathroom drawer, man? That's just crazy. Good morning, Coronacation. It's Monday, it's day 44, day 44. Corey, I'm excited about the toilet paper game. Me and the boys are here ready to teach and remind everyone of the memory verse. Isn't that right, boys? So let's just turn you around here just a second, and you guys are going to remind everybody of the memory verse, right? Yep. All right, hang on just a second, guys. Here's the memory verse. Don't okay. Don't do anything to get only to only get ahead. Don't do it because you are proud. Instead, be humble. Value other more than yourself. Proffers. Philippians 3, 2. 2, 3. Yeah, 2, 3. There you go. Found it. Noggin. See ya. Found it. Noggin, see ya! Soccer has been amazing this year. I love playing offense because, well, I'm pretty fast and I'm learning how to shoot better every week. All year, Coach has said the rule for the ladybugs is to pass three times before you shoot. Everyone on the team has scored a goal. Except for Madison. We are 9-6 and six and probably going to the tournament. Today when I got the ball, I had the perfect shot. It was just me and the goalie, and I was ahead of everyone. It would have been easy, but I could hear Coach saying, Pass three times before you shoot. I passed it to Madison. I know I still could have made it, but I'm glad she did. Love, Lainey. guys so you may or may not have seen um maybe a couple days ago a video of me showing you off the up uh the upstairs of city station the two floors where we live and so since i live here i thought i might just give y'all an alexis pass to the offices you may have seen this strange room once or twice while wandering around up here but i'm gonna give you guys an all access pass back here since no one's here, the entire place is ours. So, to my left, we have the bathrooms. Of course, everyone has to go. We've got our water fountains. If you take this door right here, you'll actually end up in the meeting rooms. I don't know if you've ever been in them, but that's what it is. Out here is our open office space. A lot of us work out here. There's some special um, offices for people over here, like Pastor Ron, um, Patty Carnes, you may know her, she's blonde, curly hair, and she handles like all the smart people stuff that I don't even know about. Over here is the wonderful office of Kevin Jarrett, 
If you know Kevin, you know that he keeps this entire building running. If it wasn't for Kevin, I think this building might have fallen over by now. He's Neil, he deals with discipleship and helping people. And in here, we have Corey's office. Office number five. We're going to take a look. This is Corey's office. If, if you didn't know, Corey really enjoys Batman. He's got a ton of books, a ton of bobbleheads, and a lot of really cool things in his office. He's also got a nice calendar to keep track of things when he's in the office. And here's his desk. So that's Corey's office. It's pretty cool, isn't it? <sighs> Coming on out. We've got some people's office. Um, you may know Andrew. Yep, that's where he works right here. He's even got his all-star binder and everything right there. That's Andrew's. Beside him is uh, Miss Kristen. Oh yeah, she's still here. She's rocking it. She's helping us over here. Um, you may know uh, Melissa Bradley. You know, the one who runs the entire preschool. Yeah, that's her. She's right there. Now coming over, um, this uh, four, five, six especially, you may know Tucker, Nerve, whatever you want to call him. That's his office. Uh, he works right there. Beside him is Trey, looking good with the, uh, the yelling face. I really enjoy it. Trey works right there. If you don't know, he works with the high schoolers. Um, and this, this right here is yours truly. This is my desk. And um, if you want to come say hi to my plants here, I'm making sure to keep them alive. I'm watering them every week. I come down here. Um, this is Joe, George, and Pedro. They're pretty cool. So that's where I work. Um, over here is a really awesome kitchen. We make food in here. Mostly coffee, but some food. Coffee's important when you're working, sometimes. Over here is our nice open space. We can sit here, we can hang out. Um, we have a lot of supplies if we need to make something, a lot of tools to do that. Over here is Pastor Shannon's office. I'm too scared to go. But in that office, that's where Shannon works a lot. Um, he writes stuff, does things, you know, basically big pastor stuff. And the last room we have in here is the video production room. If you ever see a nicely done video, it was probably done in this room right here. We got our big computers, we got our microphones and our cameras. This is where all the magic happens. Um, so that, that right there is your super top secret tour of the Southern Hill staff office. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys later. All right, Andrew, Coronation, I hope you're ready. 12 trivia questions all about toilet paper coming your way right now toilet paper trivia here we go all right levi let's do it during COVID 19 an australian family accidentally ordered how much toilet paper online a million uh, 96 boxes 4600 rolls 96. 48 boxes oh. 2300 rolls of toilet paper jeez wow. in the original patent toilet paper is shown hanging in which position over the top come on over the top. Yeah. Yes. That's the only way to do toilet paper. Come yeah, on. Why not? In a contest sponsored by Charmin, toilet paper is used to design what? A Halloween mummy. Yeah, Halloween. A wedding dress. A wedding dress. Uh, yes. Yes. Changed my yes. answer. Yes. yes. Boom. Because it's so soft. Which item has introduced, was introduced first? Splinter free toilet paper. Ouch. The electronic television first. Yes. Splinter. Splinter free toilet paper. Ah, the first modern air conditioner, 1902. Okay. During Operation Desert Storm, toilet paper was used by the military to do what? Target practice. Oh, camouflage war tanks. That's cool. On average, one tree can make how many rolls of toilet paper? 1,500, 15,000, 150,000. 15,000 yeah. 15, toilet paper rolls. 15. 15, that's it? Come on. 1,500. What percent of the world's population doesn't use toilet paper today? 70 to 75. Yeah. I'm going big here. Yeah. Because it's, wow. Yeah. I 
just, that's crazy. What's the average number of sheets Americans use per trip to the bathroom? 12.7 uh, sheets. 12.7 sheets. 8.6, hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Toilet paper nicknames include TP, loo paper, toilet tissue, and... Yucky yuck. Yuck yuck? Yuck uh, yuck. Bog rolls. I've never heard of that. Have y'all caught on occasion? I haven't. I haven't. Let's see. The Charmin Roll Bot is a robot controlled by a smartphone designed to do what task? Uh, deliver a new roll top. of toilet paper to you. Boom! Got one. Levi, we've been struggling with this one. Americans use an average of 57 sheets a day of toilet paper or an average of how many pounds a year? 50 pounds. 50 pounds. Boom. Way to go, Levi! Is that it? Nope. The daily production of toilet paper is about how many rolls per day? 28,441,907. Wow, that's a lot of toilet paper. That's not nice. Jeez. How'd we do? Did you keep up with how many we got right? No. I didn't either. Um, Coronacation, I hope you did better. And, um, see you tomorrow. Uh, maybe you learned something. Maybe you learned something about toilet paper today. We will see you guys tomorrow. 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 Okay, bye.